Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to create a procedural model. And for this example, I'm going to create a brick pattern kind of model. So first we'll take a geometry node. So just uh, take a geometry node and go inside. Just we have to take a line node. So just we'll increase the length of the line. Let's say I will put it to like uh, six or something. And now what the thing is, we need to create the model based on this line. Uh, so for this, we will take and sweep node, sweep, and just connect to here. And just connect it here. Uh, so, and now we need to create a round shape here. Uh, so in sweep here, you will see this option like surface shape. Uh, so here I will select this round tube. And also I will increase uh, the radius of this. Uh, so let's say I will put up to like one. And if you want more, you can type here. Let's say we can put up to like two or something. And now we can increase the number of uh, columns here. So just to make it more smooth. Okay. So that's fine. We have put it to like 24. And also we need to increase the height segments. Uh, so for that, we need to increase the points in line. So just we can select the line and just we can increase our points let's say we can put up to like 20 yeah that's fine and now we have to create the brick kind of pattern um what the thing is now here all the faces are in the same direction here so alternately we need to change the positions of these faces here so i will show that so first uh, in order to do that we need to select the faces alternately so in order to select faces alternately we need to take a node called group by range uh, so just we'll select this and select the group by range node. And now here we have to select this. Now at present, uh, what I think is it has been selected all the faces. And also in make sure in group range, we need to put the group type to like primitives so that it will select the faces here. And now it has been selected all the faces. And here you can see there is an option like range filter. You can increase this so that we can select it alternately. But what the thing is, the faces are not selecting properly as we want. Uh, so even though if you make these changes here, so it's not selecting properly. What I'm saying is like, suppose if I go to this sweep model. So let's say we, if we go to this like primitives and if you select. So what I want is I want to select these this faces alternately. So manually selecting, it's a kind of time waste. So I'll show that how to select these alternate faces here. So by using this group range, uh, it is not selecting properly. So if I go to the camera tool, now say it's not selecting properly. So we need another way. So just I will uh, delete this node. Now in order to do that, first I will show the example. See if I go to this line here. So uh, now if I enable these points, now for this line, we have these points. But what the thing is, we need to like uh, make it like an primitives. Uh, so for example, see if I enable this option here, display primitive numbers. So here you can see here we have only one primitive. Just I will, let me hide this. So here you can see there is only one primitive here. So what the thing is, we need to create the primitives in the place of these points here. So in order to do that, we need to take another node. So let's say we'll take node called convert line. So just I will select this and I will take this and just will connect here. And now you see, suppose if I select this, now see each and every point has been converted into like primitives. Here you can see the number of primitives like zero to 18. We have 18 primitives. Previously we have only one primitive that means like one phase. So here by using this convert line, we have converted into like each and every point into primitives here. So let me uh, like turn off this. And now what the thing is, now we need to take the group by range. Uh, so let's say we'll select this. And if I select this group by range and select this and just connect it. And now here, what the thing is, see it has been selected all the faces. And here now, if I put it to like one of two, now say it has been selected alternately. Now what the thing is, by using this group range, in this we have selected alternate faces. So we have to select actual faces of this model here. So in order to do that, we need to take a node called group transfer. So like if I go to group transfer, so what the thing is now we need to connect the model here and we need to connect this group here. And now if I set this, now see it has been selected the faces uh, which has been selected in this group range here. See, now if I select this, now you can see these are the faces which has been selected in the group range. So by using this, now, it has been transferred to this model here. Now we have selected the alternate faces. 
And also in the group range, make sure we need to select the group type to primitive here. And now we will rename this group here. Uh, so let's say we'll name it as like selected faces. And now what the thing is, uh, we will rotate these selected faces in another direction so that it will not look in the same direction. It's like these faces should be here. So I will show that. So in order to do that, we need to take and transform node. So for this group transfer, we need to take and transform node. So I will take and transform node. So just uh, connect here and select this. So what the thing is here, uh, before transfer, we need to select the group uh, which we want to transfer this because see now whenever I use this and if I rotate what it is happening is it when I rotate see it is rotating entire model here but what the thing is I want to rotate only the selected faces which has been done in this group transfer so what the thing is now in transfer uh, we need to select the group name here so here we can select the selected faces so see these are the selected faces so we need to rotate the so now suppose if I rotate this. Still it's rotating uh, the entire model because what the thing is this entire thing has been connected as a single model. So what the thing is we need to split the faces so that we can individually rotate the faces by using this group transfer here. So in order to do that we need to take a node called face it. So just I will connect in between here. So it will split the faces individually so that uh, there will be no link in between these faces here. Uh, so now you can see in this face it, we need to make some changes. So after selecting these faces, face it node, uh, here we need to check this option called unique points. And now see all the faces has been splitted here. So now if you select this transform and if you rotate, see now we can individually rotate the faces. And also it rotate, it is rotating only the faces which has been selected by using this group transform. So see now. So just will adjust this exactly the center. Uh, so just will use this transform node and just will move it center. So now see we got this brick kind of pattern. And now what the thing is we need to uh, use the extrude option here. Uh, so what the thing is uh, we need and thickness for this. So just I will take and poly extrude. So just We'll take and poly extrude. And just I will connect here. And just we'll uh, use this. And now we will extrude this. Uh, so if you want to extrude, just we can use this distance option. So we can extrude this how much you want. And also see now the backside, it has been not closed. Uh, so in the poly extrude, we will have an option like uh, output back. So we can close this model. So see now we got this brick pattern easily by using this group transfer node. And we will create some of the uh, like a top model. Uh, so what the thing is uh, just uh, we need to create a base on this uh, tower here. So what I will do is just I will copy entire thing. So I can copy control C, I can control V here. So just uh, what I will do is just I will decrease the length of the line for this. So if I go to this, so let's say I will put the display flag for this and now I will decrease the length of this line. Here. And also uh, I don't want this many patterns. I can decrease the number of uh, points here so that it will be proper. Now let's say uh, I want to put this like a template because I want to see what the tower is looking like. Means like we need to match the shape of this. Uh, so here we can enable this template so that uh, we can display the other model too because see when I click on this one it is showing only this model and if I click on this display flag here it's showing only this one means like if I display if I turn off this uh, like template mode you will not able to see the other model so in order to match what we'll do is I will add the template mode so that we can see both the models at same time and for this what I will do is just we need to scale this so uh, I will take an like transform node and transform after this just I will connect here and now I will make a scale for this. So little bit. And also I will put it to uh, in the top. So just I will make it on top direction here. And now what the thing is actually we will match this both. Uh, so in order to match, you can take an match node. So just I will take a match node here. So just I will connect this one and this one here. Just will connect this.
And now we need to fill this gap here. So in order to fill this gap, uh, what we can do is like, uh, for example, suppose if we come to this flip model, uh, the top part. Uh, so if I select this and here uh, we can come down and you can see there is an option called end cap type. So you can put it to single polygon so we can able to close this. So still we need extra length here. Uh, so what we can do is we can copy this thing on a uh, same, like we can select this, control C, control V, connect this. And now uh, for this, what I will do is I, I just, I will turn off this uh, cap here. So just, I will put it to cap and just uh, in the final, we'll use this transform and just we'll put it to a little bit top direction and little bit of rotate so that that's fine yeah. so in this way we can create this brick uh, kind of pattern here and see now here if you want to close this thing so actually we no need of uh, closing this thing because anyhow we are going to place on the ground here so so in this way we are going to create a brick pattern by using this group range and some of the line model so that's it for this video see you in the next lesson